questions? Well, let me just add that the way the proposal reads is the 1% increase is limited to what can be attributed to uh, the renewable energy increase. So how much of that is transmission? Well, that's a job for the Public Service Commission, which sets rates, and there's always joint costs in the utility industry, and we don't have a lot of recent experience with transmission, but they would have to decide that in cases. I think you were next. Yeah, I have a question about biomass. What, what is your proposed feedstocks for biomass? Wood chips? Garbage? <laughs> Well, there's not a lot of wood that grows down around the thumb of Michigan. So if you're going to your process, including paper, okay. Any any type of biomass, it doesn't really matter. That's the whole point. Yeah. You can get consistent supply of consistent fuel. It's uh. It seems like it's going to be a lot more work. Remember, imitate nature. Bro? Uh, just to put the cost increases in perspective, the last two years my output power rates are increasing at 16%. Well, double and four eight. We're paying about 17 cents a kilowatt hour total. That's very important to consider the escalation rates. And uh, renewable energy is one of the beautiful things about them is that their costs are known for decades plus you pay for the capital costs. And so you don't have that. When you're working out these costs of different kinds of fuels, what comes to my mind is the true cost of production. For instance, coal is the lowest, is three point something, but when you talk about mercury into the atmosphere and health effects and so forth and so on, of course solar is the lowest other than the cost of making the solar products. But shouldn't that be part of this conversation? I would certainly argue that it should be. I mean, the only reason coal is cheaper is that we're all subsidizing it in some way with decreased IQs, health problems. <laughs> I mean, women in Michigan can't eat fish out of our lakes. I mean, that has some sort of value to it. Nobody bothers to do the calculation because of the power, of the power industry. But that that's real money. And I think as, uh, I'd say, as America matures, we're going to start including more of these costs and let the free market figure out what the best technology I fully agree, and I think that uh, we are not going to see in the near future coal power plants working as they work now. It will be more scrubbers, more SCRs, more mercury absorption, and so on and so forth, more FGBs. No question about it. And that's significant additional cost. It could be as much as building, I mean, it would double the cost of a power plant.